morning everyone it's actually afternoon I just want to show you guys this is what it looks like down here <laughs> Sterling has a mess I mean I don't know why okay she was making like some kind of something she cleaned the living room so in the process of cleaning the living room half the stuff she took into her bedroom but her bedroom's clean right now, so she didn't want to mess it up, like, really bad. So the other half of the stuff, she brought down here. Of course. Of course. But my husband went to go help his friend Bill, and he's on his way home right now. And I was just going to start embroidering. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing, if anything. <sighs> but, yeah. I just wanted to show that cute little mess she made. She'll probably be like, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to. Anyway. Same thing. Well, the back's not, you know. We're at shoe show. Looking at shoes. Let's see your fancy shoes you just got, Sterling. <laughs> she wore her sandals today. And they were hurting her feet, so we had to make a emergency flip-flop buy at Walmart <laughs> we want this color because it'll match an outfit I just bought look how skinny her feet are though she can probably fit two feet in one flip-flop <laughs> we just ate at Mutt's barbecue and it was delicious wasn't it delicious? She just gets french fries. But I had some fried chicken and some barbecue and some fried okra and some sweet potatoes. And now I'm full. Now we're at Lowe's. My husband had to run into Lowe's. And look at how this person parked in front of us. Like, why do you... Like, they could have just pulled up through one and took up two parking spots. But instead, they're taking up three. one, two, three, four, five. Instead, they're taking up five parking spots. Oh, uh, toys! Goodwill. The next. Say good morning. Let me see your hair bow. Hey guys, it is in the afternoon. It is 4.25 right now. I just made this one. This one I started at 2 o'clock. And now it is 4.20. So this took, actually it was probably like 2, 2.05ish when I started. Um, because... I started it and then um, I called my husband and that was probably like 20 after 2. Uh, yeah, so that took really long. There was like 40, what was, 40 something, 43 steps I think, 44, for the, for this and the candy and the number. And I had to rehoop for the name. So, yeah, yeah, that took a long time, and I also have to make three more shirts with this design, um, but they will all say Bailey is one, so it'll all be in, like, off this font up here, and, um, I don't have an apostrophe font, um, and... So I told her I didn't have one because she wanted to say I'm one, right? And then I actually used the Sew Up Pro and it actually took a little part. And I think this was a J, like, like a capital J. And I like took part of the tail and I cut, I erased, <laughs> this is my erasing sign. Um, I erased everything and then took, this was, you know, Part of the tail and actually went the other way so I actually turned it around and put it 
anyway, yeah. Uh, I maneuvered it. I think it turned out super cute. I wish I had more glitter, like in like purple, because the purple's not glitter and the yellow's not glitter, but I don't, so I did what I could in the glitter. But I actually think it does look pretty good um, without having these in glitter, because it kind of gives it a little more dimension, kind of like, you know what I mean? I don't know. So, in here, I have, I think, the mom and dad shirts. See, so I forgot they were in there. I didn't forget they were in there, but yeah. So I think I might actually do. So I think the dad was extra large and the mom was large. So we might start with the mom. And I have to get Ollie's done in glitter ribbon trim. And um, a crescent top and a shine um, set done by tomorrow. There's not enough hours. <laughs> I mean, if probably if I stayed up till four or five o'clock in the morning, it probably would be. Because if you figure that one took over two hours, I figure each shirt will take two hours. So I got three more to go. That would be six hours. Glitter ribbon trims take me forever. They do. Probably because I change the thread color. So, like if I do hot pink, I'm going to have hot pink um, bobbin and hot pink thread um, at top. And run the pink channel. And then so on the pink glitter. And then, you know, on the top and then on the bottom. And then change everything out for the orange. And then do the orange. Yeah. So... I think a lot of that is thread changing that takes a long time and um, because if it was just a tutu that was all in color you know straight through zip 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 I mean those only take me maybe an hour I mean that is that's making pretty good time it is an hour so doing the glitter ones for some reason it's taking me like two three hours to make them uh, yeah, so if I do the three shirts, that's six hours. The glitter ribbon trim will say two hours, but I know it'd probably take me over than two hours. So that'd be eight hours. And then I also have to make my uh, shimmer and shine ribbon trim. That may take me an hour and 20 minutes because I can use my. T it's a. Uh, aqua thread so aqua thread would actually go for the channel and for one of the ribbons and I just have to switch out for the gold and then that one takes a little over an hour to embroider out and I also have to make a um, corset top so yeah but the good thing is is that um, I'm getting near the end of like all these crazy orders that I had and I need to get out the two size 5t trolls now it was for one of you guys out there Christy I haven't forgotten about you and thank you so much because she told me to take my time and I need to email her today and let her know that it'll be sent out this week because after I finish these because this person needs theirs by the 8th um, all these Bailey shirts um, she needs hers by the 8th and the shimmer and shine needs hers by the 7th so that's like Friday and um, the St. Patrick's Day one she needs hers by Friday as well so um, she's actually it's not really a St. Patrick's I don't remember what she's going to something Irishy so that's what it's for but yeah so I'm trying to get all these done and then after that I'm going to do the trolls for Christy which are the two 5t I think, I'm pretty sure that's her name um the two 5t trolls and then um after that I have a Curious George and Easter 
and Shopkins and a Peppa and then just a couple orders that just come in which I think was I didn't write it down I thought I wrote it down um anyway I think one was like a troll shirt actually I think they were both trolls one was a troll shirt and then another was a troll tutu set so that is what I've got on my agenda for this week. I am It's spring break, so hopefully I can get everything done by Wednesday. I'm hoping for Wednesday to get every, not every order, but all these other orders out by Wednesday. And maybe take Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off and then back at it on Monday. So, I'm excited. I don't have nothing planned, but I'm excited. It means I can watch TV and sleep all day. And I want to do stuff with Sterling too. I would, I would like to take her to the zoo, but our local zoo closed down. So. And the nearest one is in Greenville, and Greenville is a pretty busy town, so I don't drive there. Unless my husband's driving. But anyway, let me get to work instead of rambling. Thirty-two. Um, I only got two of the shirts embroidered out. Um, I just spent probably the last hour and a half trying to fix my embroidery machine. Um, just all of a sudden, well I don't know if it was really all of a sudden because when I took this off and was looking at the back of this embroidery, like the back of it, um, this it was blue like I'm I'm embroidering blue and underneath was in blue and if you embroider you know that it should be white if that's the color of the bobbin that you're using but it just all of a sudden it just stopped um and it went so nothing and I tried to sew this right here like I don't know ten times and it wouldn't and um so I tried all kinds of things <laughs> so I narrowed it down to I think it was um, my um, hold on I'm trying to get to the spot I think it was the hook like the needle hooking into the bobbin it just wasn't catching the bobbin every time so um, of course YouTube looking up like what do you do what do you do what do you do um, and I just took apart my machine <laughs> And I used some Allen wrenches and tools and so then I put it back and I just got one of the mach I'm using this big my big giant one um I just needed something that I can test on because my embroidery hoop has a shirt that I'm working on so couldn't use that so um um, earlier I tried a name that was that right there with the L and of course that's what it did and so now I just tried these cherries oh, can you see them it's just a design that is on this machine and so yeah it's blue on top and for the most part it's got a lot of white there's a lot of blue but I don't know if that's just because this is I mean there's a lot of white in there if you look at it I don't know I don't know if it's because it's on just a stabilizer, but it actually worked. Like, I wasn't even getting this. Like, the I wasn't getting any bobbin whatsoever. Like, it wasn't even catching. And I don't know if it's getting stuck on this little mechanism that's in there. Because I moved, um, when I first was trying it and turning it myself, it kept getting, like, hung on this piece. So I kind of pushed this piece. Like, it's kind of springy so it I pushed it kind of like where it's before it was kind of like this now it's kind of like this so I don't know if it was getting stuck on that and that is the reason um I also did adjust the needle um up inside the machine with the allen wrenches and I don't 
I don't know if that was it. Um, I watched a, a video from a few, oh my brother, you probably see Vince Akira, the kids' videos. Um, they're very informative. Um, but <laughs> he reminds me of somebody that I used to work with and, um, like very thorough. That's what I want to say. He's very thorough, but that's, that's, you know, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. But if you're in a hurry and want to learn how to do it really quickly and, you know, you're like, eh. But anyway, I'm going to test it out right now. I'm going to see if it works. Still sounds a little bit weird though. I don't know. I'll let you know how it goes. 